as a young child, Limbo Singh studied in Raffles Institution. When he grew up, he studied in a Hong Kong University. When his father died, he took over the business that his father had. Oh, sing my love. <laughs> I wanted you to join the post 136. Thank you. I'm very honored to join you. You're very much welcome. Oh, the Japanese are coming. I'm leaving at once. Please take care of the kids. Okay. I love you all. Good. Here it is! Thank you. The Japanese are coming from Big Ten. Go and push them. This information is very crucial. Operation Gustav was filled because one of the members from Force 136 told the Japanese. Limbo Singh was captured in a roadblock. So you sure you don't want to tell us a thing, Limbo Singh? Limbo Singh was dragged all the way to his cell. He died in the wee hours of 29 June 1944. So fat and heavy, good for nothing, bloody Limbo Singh. His wife, Tung Nyo, came to visit his dead body. Limbo Singh, Limbo Singh, no! <laughs> Divanshu Bridge, who is a war survivor, has witnessed how badly Limbo Singh was treated. He's currently a woodcutter and has a very rich business. Um, excuse me, Mr. Bridge, do you have time? Yes, who are you? Uh, I'm from a local newspaper company. Oh, do you wish to sit down? Oh, uh, no. Should I, play, should I make a cup of coffee for you? Oh, no thanks. Um, as you can see, I'm going to interview you, so just answer as truthful as you can. Um, how do you feel when Lim Bo Singh was treated badly that time? By the Japanese Limbo soldier? Sing. The Japanese people were very bad. The soldiers especially. I don't know why did they have to steal Limbo Sen from us. He was such a good guy. He helped so many poor people. He helped so many people. <laughs> so do you feel that he was really a war hero? Yes. In fact, he was the biggest war hero in Singapore history. I'm okay. very proud of him. Thank you very much, Mr. Bridge. You're welcome. You're... Okay. Limbo Singh was a great war hero in Singapore's history, and he will always remain in our hearts. 